What's up? Welcome. Today, we're going to be listening to a new Architect song that just dropped called Deep Fake. This is a third new song after the last very recent album for those that wish to exist. Now for the new album, very unexpected new album that's going to be called The Classic Symptoms of a Broken Spirit and it's going to be available October 21st. And listen, yeah, yeah, we, we, we know, we know, Architects have changed. They've changed their sound. They sound a lot different now than they did a couple of years back. It's not a bad thing. Uh, I personally did not enjoy the previous single at all. And when we were young, wasn't that super memorable either for me. I'm still gonna check this song out with hopes that I finally will like this third one. If I don't, I don't. You know, it is what it is. Opinions. But I, but I do love Architects as a band and I've always, uh, I've always loved them. And I'm excited to see what they have coming next regardless of whether it's my cup of tea or not my cup of tea. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump into deep fake right now. Ooh. Okay. A, a different riff. I like it. Big driving synths. Love that. Love this. Love the, the background. Hell yeah. The typical for nowadays group for architects. Huh. Call back. This one sounds interesting. It's a bit more ominous. I kind of like it. Fucking Josh Middleton screaming. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I didn't expect him to, to scream in Architect. That was cool. We got a little bit of screaming there, a little bit of, of heavy edge there. For the old fans, so to speak. The chorus is not as explosive, uh, explosive as I thought it was going to be, but it's, it's an interesting chorus. Dude, the visuals are awesome. What is this, though? Uh-oh. Okay. Interesting. That was a cool ass breakdown. Really good production. Sounds super fun. Ooh. It's a very familiar melody. And the breakdown. Super different. Mmm. Well, <laughs> that was Architects Deepfake. I honestly expected this to be worse. I expected to like this a lot less, but to my own surprise, I actually really enjoyed this track. Among the singles that we've got so far, 
It is the best song since for for those that wish to exist. I like I like its vibe. I like its ominous kind of more feeling to it. Uh, it still has that that kind of samey groove that both of the previous songs had, which I'm not a huge fan of. I don't really like that like that two step. It's got a very cool production and all of the drives and like synths that are happening in the back. I feel like are fully uh, involved now with with their kind of sound. They they always had the keyboard right. They always had a bit of sense here and there, but I feel like this is like a showcase of them as a as a proper instrument in the band rather than just an just a side thing to do uh, here and there. This is actually like a separate character in this song, and I actually really really like it. A bit less of an arena chorus, which I also kind of kind of like. A bit of a refresher. The both the previous songs were trying to go for that kind of big op explosive chorus. It's it sounds cool. Explosive choruses are great, but I feel like this chorus is definitely a bit more interesting, a bit more sophisticated, so to speak. Lyrics is something that I haven't really paid attention to. The previous song, Tear Gas, lyrics were. Very simple for architects. So hopefully I will I will read this back after and, and, and see what I think about it. But when it comes to music, I really liked it. I enjoyed it. It's a different sound for architects, sure. It's now familiar sound for architects. You know, they've been playing this kind of stuff for, for a couple of years now. So it's nice to see them at least expanding on that style, moving into a fresher direction with all the synth work. And that breakdown was actually super impactful. I really, I really liked that kind of marriage between the guitar tone and the synths and, and, and all those drives. It's super powerful, super nice. I think the whole song works really well. I like that Sam is not doing that scream singing for every verse, which kind of gets a bit old very quickly. I like that he's using his, you know, lower kind of uh, tone here. For the verses and i was and again i was surprised to to see josh middleton screaming you know um, of course he has silosis where he showcases to the extreme how good of a vocalist he is how good of a metal vocalist he is so check out silosis if you never did before but it's nice to see him uh, involved a bit vocally here as well now that sam is doing more more singing it seems it's nice to see uh josh picking up some screams in, here and there in the back i feel like this song still is a bit more cookie cutter than than I expect Architects to be. I'm gonna listen to it more. I already like it way more than the previous two singles, which is a good thing. And I'm still gonna listen to the album because I love Architects, like I said before. But that's gonna be it for this one. Let me know what you think about this new Architect song called Deep Fake. I would love to hear your opinions, of course. Check out my Twitch. I stream every Saturday at 3 p.m. I'm not going to be streaming this week, though. Also, check out my Patreon. That's where I post my full album reactions and access to my Discord. And also, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Because it's free and you get videos like this in your feed. I think it's a good deal. Alright, I'll see you in the next one.